but uh, haven't been able to make any inroads really. So we focus now on uh, couple number 10. This is a Katerina Bobrova and Dmitry Soloviev third in Russian nationals and uh, they go into this freelance lying in 13th place. Chris Howarth alongside Nikki Slater who's really excited and been looking forward to this all week to take you through it live this evening. the best original dances for me in this championship to a Kalinka piece of music. They were very strong in that and a very good start to their long program. skaters staying in dance hold and doing deep edges they've got two specific step sequences to fit into this four minutes of skating difficult to do. Changing direction, staying in the spread eagle position for the man makes it difficult. There's no doubt about it. These two can skate all right. First time for them in the World Championships. And they come in as the substitute for Oksana Domlina and Maxim Shabalin. And they've really grabbed the opportunity with both hands, haven't they, Nikki? They have. I mean, for me, in the original dance, it was so impressive. If you saw it, they skated to Kalinka, fitted all the elements within the program beautifully. And uh, others were trying to skate to Russian folk music, but they did the definitive version. Now, this program, very strong, very competent, but not the level yet that they managed to get in the original dance, which was a whole concept piece. This, not so advanced for me, but 
Very strong skating indeed. Good in the lifts. There's four lifts within the overall program. And two of those need to be done in six seconds, two in 12 seconds. So within the free skating, the free dance program, there are required elements that the skaters have to create. Now, in that, it's a difficult lift because he's in a difficult position and so is the girl. You'll see the girl holding her foot to her head in many places within the uh, different lifts. This is the uh, twizzles. Now, the aim is to do two different positions with the arms during those twizzles. They're hard enough to do on their own, but the hands behind the back in, be in particular are very diff difficult. Now, we call them features within those twizzles. The other thing, we're, look, we're looking for loads of things tonight, but it's, it's really the way the balance of the couple works. You want a lot of technical difficulty, but you want to maintain the flow over the ice. And they're a very well-balanced couple. Good on the knee, good edge work. I think, uh, yeah, they're really promising for the future. I mean, they're there now, but it's promising to see them coming onto the world stage and making such an impact. It certainly is, and they were a bit of a surprise, weren't they? Because they were down in 16th place on the compulsory dance. You may remember that at the beginning of the week, the Argentine tango. And then they came out in the original and skated a blinder, didn't they? 12th place they were then. They did, and, and I have a theory that when people come in to a world championship and make an impact, that they have the chance to go and be world champions. If you come in low down, then incrementally you might your way, make your way up maybe to top 10 or something, but if you come in maybe 7th or used to be coming in around 7th, but now you could come in a little lower than that because the standard is so high. You make an impact, then the judges are going, whoa, watch out could be champions one day. Certainly, well, these two have already been champions. They were junior world champions last year. So the marks, pretty good. 78.85 there, personal best. And uh, that, a new season's best for them.